Hey, I'm Todd Bergen and uh, we're here at my ranch in Oregon and uh, I'm going to discuss today a little bit the differences of uh, the cutting turnaround as opposed to the reining turnaround. Um, to me, the way a horse functions in each one of those turnarounds is completely different. Um, for me, doing the cow horse, we have to work at that a lot. Uh, we want our horses when we're working out of the herd to obviously stop and turn like a cutter. Then we got to walk over there to the big arena and, and do the rein work and we want them to stand up and step around like a, like a rainer should. So it's something that uh, we struggle with all the time and, but it's something that I try and really teach my horse the difference. And you know, it's a different set of cues and a, um, anything we do with horses is just muscle memory. So uh, I'll just go over real quick uh, what I expect of them on a cow and the way we want to turn there. To me, on a cow and the way we want the horse to turn there, it's all about that drawing back, um, sitting kind of on that outside pivot foot. And I really, I really try and stress those horses to get soft in the inside part of this turn. <clears throat> so when you're turning a horse around or just dry working them for on a cow, it's a, it's a lot more bend and it's a lot more back. Trying to set them back here on this outside pivot foot and getting them to draw back, draw this inside back foot out of the way. Okay, really got them supple here on the inside of this turn. <clears throat> so when we're first teaching these horses how to do this, I spend a lot of time just getting these horses supple to the sides. You know, getting where I can really pull this nose around and they'll really just follow this nose. I can bring this across still and get them soft there. I'm not really so worried about what they're doing back here at that point. So that's kind of where we start with the young horses, just getting them really soft here. 